Okay, I think this year will be good. But okay. Eh, 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 eh. Attention, everyone. There's another disease outbreak going on, going around, going around the world. Oh. I recommend you all stay in your homes until further notice. Oh crap, I spoke too soon. Hey you guys. Since when Wall Strikes back, did his biggest extreme round this year, it's my turn now. Before I do, cue the intro. Hey guys, it's me again. I'm sorry I've been kind of inactive lately. And it's all the moment you've been waiting for. Time to review on this very, 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 very atrocious year. And that is None other than, of course, 2,000 freaking 20! Which nobody loves. Now I'm going to explain why I freaking hate this year. So for January, it kind of started okay as I guess. I started wearing one of my work shirts to a score. I sort of didn't like doing math. After my map. Then when I got home, my mom told me I didn't buy my shirt right. Seriously, I don't know what a problem is. Is then, then she made me so so upset that then my stepdad. And went to have a word with me about it. About it. Then made me tell him, tell me what I did in school. Then I got grounded from my computer, which I had to spend some time off, which sucks. Ugh. As for some more of January, I don't fancy talking about it. Well, except for the last Monday of January, guess I'll talk about it. After my last shift time in my workplace with my stepdad, we went to Target it with the $50 gift card I have not used yet. I went there and I bought a Sonic action figure in honor of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie I want to see in theaters. I also bought a Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans DVD which we can all agree that's better than the actual Teen Titans Go show 
which, which was in honor of Taylor Strong's birthday. After all, she is the voice of Raven. Now let's get to February. The 15th, which is the day after Valentine's Day. My stepdad and I went went to go see the the son of the Hedgehog movie with the with the new the new design. Fine. And guess what? We really, 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 really loved the movie. Thank, thank you so much, Paramount. You saved our childhood. But I'm gonna tell you, and it's not a joke. Me, Grandma Watch Strikes Back, and Mr. Crazy all went to go see the Sonic movie on the exact same day. No joke. We, me, Grandma Watch Strikes Back, and Mr. Crazy all went to go see the Sonic movie on the same day. Although, Justin Thomas didn't get to go see it until March 5th, even though the Saw the Hedgehog movie was the last movie Justin and I went to go see in theaters before that. I'll get to that later. But on the last day of February, February 2020, we were all, we were all leaving Michigan to go to Florida, uh, 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 but when we arrived in Florida, We met, we met our cousins to go on some rides and that, and then, and then, in that huge amusement park, and my favorite one was the Spider-Man one. But as for the rest, I don't fancy I don't fancy telling you them. I I really love the Norwegian toe plushies that I won at separate arcades at Universal Orlando. And that, oh, and that's, and that Simpsons donut, donut plushie that I got at that Simpsons wide. I went on that one as well. We not only went to Universal Orlando, we went to Walt Disney Springs as well. And one day when we were there, we went there and bought some ice cream. Mmm, I love ice cream. And we went to the Disney shop and I Bought a Bay Group plushie, which was so nice. And when we when we arrived back home in Michigan, which we were lucky to make back home. Home.
Tamam. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot to mention that when we were at that steakhouse restaurant in Florida, we went to that gift shop and I brought that Saw the Hedgehog plushie there since I'm a huge fan of Saw the Hedgehog. My stepdad has heard that 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 James Bond movie, No Time to Die, I got pushed back to November 2020. Like, what the heck? Whoever Walt Strikes Back was looking forward to that movie. Uh, of course, it was none, it was because of none other than the coronavirus. Thanks a lot, China. Now you're starting to ruin everything. But luckily, we we had managed to make it home. Then, then for like the past few days, we weren't allowed, uh, let me rephrase that, for my past few school days, we weren't allowed to go anywhere except for this following Friday. We did go to the park to get some fresh air. But luckily for me, I got four weeks off, which was awesome. <sighs> but I hate to tell you this, my teacher gave me, gave me, gave me, gave me a book right of homework. Seriously, what the heck? I already know this stuff. I text message her that I already know, know this stuff. But then she agreed. And then, then we Then we were stuck, stuck doing online school and, and stuff. Of in April, I w was enjoying it well, a little bit. And the thing is, Charles World Tour got put on bail demand instead of being released in theaters. Which it caused, uh, uh, forget it. It's, it's best I not, I not speak of this again. Then this following May, 
Scoop skip fears as well and put on fear on the man. But luckily my stepdad downloaded it for all of us to watch. And I liked it. But for when we watch right back, he considered it the most boring War Brothers movie ever. But I can handle his opinion. Bite, bite, saw Justin Thomas's video update of him getting the movie Scoob. Hmm. Then it's one day when I was walking my dog Sassy. I was being a bit careless and I accidentally let go of the weeds. Which I accident I accidentally let her scratch a lady's legs. <sighs> but luckily I managed to get her which then we continued walking until my brother brother showed up and told us to come back in until the till the cops came then my then my sister Taylor talked to them um, and told them everything about me but but no worries the cops told me that I wasn't in any trouble at all. But not only that, this person came and uh, I don't want to talk about it. Too embarrassing. This movie and this movie that I wanted to see in videos the most was none other than the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the One. It had to be pushed back to July 31st. <sighs> but, but then Nickelodeon decided to push it back to August 7th. Well, that was better than nothing. But what's worst about it, they decided to push it back to May 7, 2021. What? That's totally unfair. But however, it did get Canadian theatrical release in August, and my stepdad got got me some cereal that is based on that movie. And in June, Wonder Woman 1984 was supposed to come out, but it got pushed back to October, then December. Not only that, so got pushed back to November. Then then Christmas Day, which Pixar had to put it on Disney Plus. Which 
which I can see when Wall Strikes Back doesn't like watching movies on the small screen. He loves watching them on the big screen. <sighs> now let's get to July. I can think, think of some good things about 2020. My stepdad got me some McDonald's for my birthday. I really love McDonald's. I'm a huge fan of that restaurant. Mmm, yum. Then this following 4th of July. I've had such a blast for my birthday. I've gotten everything I wanted, such as the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That bomb plushie. And even my my sister gave me the entire Teen Titans series. The original Titans. Not not stupid Teen Titans Go. Uh, oh, 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 and June, oh, about June, I also forgot to mention, when we were up north, Shane was being a bit careless with his car, actually parked in front of someone driving, and then he hit him, hit him on, hit him by mistake, then he shouted at the man, for hitting him, and then he, then he claims that him for parking in front of him. I personally agree with the man. And then my mom told me to report the man's car for his license plate. I'm not sure if my stepdad has seriously lost his mind or anything. Uh, perhaps I said too much. Uh... Oh! Oh, and as for August, I think my sister came up to my room this morning and said she had to say goodbye to me 
because she was moving away to California. And then we all went downstairs into the garage. And then we all had to take a photo. Oh. Oh. Before she went, before she left to California, all packed up. So I just had a drink back to what I, back to what I was saying. Taylor drove away to go live in California, all packed up. And <laughs> it was very emotional to see her go. Now, another good thing about 2020 I could think of was. We were we went to Save Week Grill. That that delicious restaurant up north. Or we went there twice this year. That place where they sell burgers. Hmm, I really love burgers. Not only that, also in August, I went I also went to that train show which is at which is near Torch Lake. Lake. And I, I even went my stepdad do a video of Sonic being a player of water, which is true. And not only that, one day when we are at an antique store in Travis City, I bought a statue of E.T. You know, E.T. is such a classic universal movie. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I've been on an E.T. ride in Universal Orlando. I'm gonna get to s September. On the 11th, which is 9-11, which is a very sad day, I watched Fur Races Cartoon Beatbox Bows episode of Black Panther vs. Sonic. Ick. Ick. And I really loved it. I voted I voted off Black Panther to pay respect to Chad Bozeman Man which is so sad to see him go. Let's forget. I don't fancy 
telling you the rest of September. Let's let's move on to October. One day when t when Tara came back from California, she and one of her friends decided to take me and my brother Luke to the site mail, which was awesome. And we had donuts and cider, which was great. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Over July. I forgot to mention that in that in Mikorowski and Wendy Box fan, which I be thought to become friends with, with, with. This year, friends within this year, here, in one of his live streams, I told Justin Thomas that I was going to get into Hi Hi Puppy Army Yumi since Wingle Stars, was, was tour was was canceled due to a due to the was canceled due to the pandemic. Like, since Hayao Papiyomi was one of Justin's interests, I watched all three seasons of 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 Hi Hi Papiyomi with the exception of Sus Up, not to be confused with the movie. But luckily, Queen I T P D Four was able to put on Google Try for me, but. I'll explain, explain the December part. But as for August, I also forgot to mention that I started watching Disney's House of Mouse on YouTube, which, which in three days, I'm going to review that show for its 20th anniversary. Oh, I do. I do have one more positive thing about October two thousand twenty. My stepdad ordered me this Mickey's House of Villains DVD from eBay, and I was so lucky to have it. Especially about the song, It's Our House Now, It's Our House Now. But, but as for Mickey's Magical Christmas, knowing in the House of Mouse, I'll consider getting that in the future. Now let's now let's get to November.
Oh. Oh, back in August, I think. When me, my stepdad, and a friend of his from our workplace went to my went to our local amusement park CJ Barrymore's, we couldn't go to the arcade because of of course this stupid pandemic. But however, we were able to go to the go karts, the bumper boats. The roller coaster and the bank cages, and let's not forget the Ferris wheel. Now I ha now I had to wait until, you know, this you know, two thousand this tw two thousand twenty one summer to go to the arcade. Now let's get to November. <sighs> I really, 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 really hate hearing about the coronavirus everywhere I go. I, in the words of Whitey McQueen, I hate it! Hate, hate, hate it! <sighs> now it's... Think of... Think of one positive... Think of some positive things about November 2020. Are there any positive things about November 2020? Well, I did ask my stepdad to order the entire Like, order all six seasons of the original Power of Girls from eBay. Well, Canada, Canada did have them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not allergic to Canada, and I never will be, no matter what. But it wasn't good for long before they finally came. But, but my dad-dad wouldn't let me have them. Why? Because I forgot, I forgot my, I forgot my medicine. Which sucks. Look everyone, I know medicine is important. God, I was such an idiot for forgetting it. And this following Thanksgiving, thing, thing, it was kind of okay, I guess. Of all, we we had no turkey for it. I my my stepdad asked me if I wanted to watch the Animaniacs, but I told him no. But he was like, "What?" Is it that it's not good? But I and I was like, no, it's not that it's not good. It's that I'm kind of interested in it. But guess what? And guess what? This one day, he gave out spoilers for me. No joke. He literally gave me spoilers. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's what I was saying. And then later, instead, I started helping my mom set up the Christmas decorations. And then, I told my mom instead, I should watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special in honor of Charles M. Such's birthday. After all, he is the one who brought the world peanuts. And then my stepdad agreed. In the beginning of the special, I was nearly crying. I don't want to tell you about 
tell you about it. It's too and I Ugh, let me face that. I don't wanna tell you that I'm fine. Way too embarrassing. Now last but not least December. When my mom and stepdad were cleaning out the basement, I went to find that my Nintendo Wii had gone missing. I went, I worked, I searched and searched for it, but it was nowhere to be seen. I even searched my mom and stepdad's room, and guess and until I, uh, I, I don't want to talk about it. Too embarrassing. And this one day, my mom, my mom made a stupid joke about my Nintendo Wii. I'm not gonna say it. It's too gross. And also, also about December 2020, since, since my current school was still closed due to second lockdown in my state, My mom and stepdad went to Kohl's for some Christmas shopping, but as long as we don't peek to what we're getting each other, as long as we keep in secret. Oh. Also November, I I forgot to mention that I watched Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse online on one two three movies. And I really enjoyed it. Also, when. When me, my mom and dad, I was shopping on on Kohl's. I asked my mom if if we could watch Home Alone two, Lost in New York, on Disney Plus. Since since Fox now owns the rights to, uh, let me rephrase that. Since Disney now owns the rights to Fox, she kind of said that I should ask my stepdad. And never mind. I I decided to to watch online myself. Oh, oh. In in November. Oh, in November, I forgot to mention that my stepdad and I went to our local Imagine Theater. To go see the original Back to the Future. And guess what? I really love the movie. Anyways, back to the summer 2020. One day. When I was looking for 
my Angry Birds party My stepdad called me and told me to come help him clean the car, but I told him I didn't want to because it was too cold, and he threatened to take me off the computer if I didn't, but it made me change my mind. Then I agreed to help him. It wasn't too long until I finally finished cleaning the car. Then I went back on. And then the following December 23rd, my brother took me to go see my my dad, after after four year after four years, years, we had such a blast there having Christmas dinner, like Domino's pizza. with some Sprite and even chocolate chip cookies mmm with some chocolate milk even cherry pie and watching my all-time favorite adult show South Park but I can agree with my dad that the older episodes are funnier he even got me the gifts I asked him for such as the Trolls World Tour DVD of where we accidentally got me the original Trolls movie when I already had one. The original we went in that could book and that oil door and that oil door. That and even even a dress shirt. And and my brother even my brother got some got some new shoes. But that's not all. My brother even took me to this new friend of my dad's. So he took me to this woman, new friend of my woman. This woman with with this overexcited dog of hers named Zoe's. Who, who she's a lot more goofy than sassy. And guess what? I discovered that she, she loves Traverse City like I do. And I had, I even had some white zero there too. I got got the t uh, two chocolates there too. And then Luke took me uh, drove me all the way all the way home.
But when we got home, I had to carry some stuff in, such as my the coke. Told me not to spill it. Seriously, I was being careful with it. Needs to run to be. Luke needs to run to be West Bossy. And this following Christmas morning. Morning. Ugh, here comes the worst part. My stepdad started yelling at work. All because. He never cleans up after himself. Because of this, he lost his temper and even ran out of the house. But don't worry everyone, it was only temporary. And even my mom got involved in it. Seriously? My stepdad lost his temper on Christmas? What the heck? And I told him told him to stop to stop fighting and they agreed. And I decided to Put on my put on my new dress shirt that my step uh, new dress shirt that my 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 dad gave me for Christmas. But guess what? We we didn't have we didn't have any any fun this Christmas Eve, all because. My mom and stepdad had to work on Christmas Eve. Because of this, I didn't have any, I didn't feel like eating any lunch. However, I did have some dinner. I decided to feel a little better. It wasn't before long until I got ready for bed. Until it was Christmas morning. And till then we took we took our turns opening our different presents until my stepdad told, asked me if I wanted to do a video of, of my Christmas presents. Excuse me, back on the saying, my stepdad asked me if I wanted to do a video of my Christmas presents. But I told him that I wasn't in the mood to do it. And about my all my other Christmas presents, which I'll tell you later. Later. The following 27, my stepdad and I went to go see Wonder Woman 1984, which is supposed to come out in June. And guess what? I got a freaking trailer for, of course, the boss, baby. The, the boss, uh, can we replace that? The boss, baby, family business. Ugh, seriously. What is wrong with you, DreamWorks? Don't you know how much we despise this movie? Ugh. I 
I don't know what Wonder Woman has to do with the boss me. Uh, you know, we've got to have money. Ugh. <sighs> but however, I did get a trailer for the new upcoming Tom and Jerry movie, and I was like, that's more like it. But however, I did enjoy Wonder Woman 1984. But about, about the Boss Baby 2, I mean the Boss Baby Family Business trailer playing during Wonder Woman 1984, I was not happy about it. Not happy. And my dad had told me to calm down. What well, I know was supposed to be, supposed to be, supposed to be quiet when we're in the movie theater. Then this following December twenty eighth, with which was the day after Taylor came back from California once again. And but still wasn't much of a much in the mood to open to I mean do avail my Christmas presents however the following 29th I did open my remaining Christmas presents and that was that was another than a Minnie Mouse plushie and and the and two Disney DVDs, which was a new copy of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and of course Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Ugh. And to and I I I use Dreamyard to do a veil on my Christmas presents. Since I was finally in a mood to do them. Oh, and this December, I forgot to mention that my friend Justin Thomas's inner connection went out. So, so that I couldn't do my podcast with him. But it wasn't. It wasn't until thirty, the thirty-first. Which was the day Adobe Flash officially retires. I mean, what the heck? Adobe Flash was was my childhood, but we all know Flash animation isn't that great. And I, I'm not. I don't want to take it too seriously. And now, let me. I want. I want to talk about. T 
talk about the celebrities deaths. I want to talk about a few. How about Little Richard? Who is the guy who sang the theme song to the Magic School Bus? Oh my god! The Magic School Bus was my childhood ever, I, ever since I watched it in elementary school. Oh my And, and also, And also, let me talk about out another celebrity death, Michael Gallies, who is known for dubbing the British version of Thomas and Friends three through sixteen. Ooh, it is my childhood. But I'm lucky I'm lucky to have a Thomas and Friends DVD to remember him who is none than which is none than New Friends for Thomas which came in a came in a triple pack along with a big day for Thomas and Thomas and the Willy Blade Engines. And and another another celebrity death. Chadwick Boseman, who is really best known for playing Black Panther in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. <laughs> Chadwick. You are a fantastic legend! You are so awesome as the Black Panther! But according to Marvel, they will not recast anyone as the Black Panther. But I can't argue with that. But, but, but two more, two more celebrities. But, but I'm only gonna talk about two more celebrities. And that is David Prowse. And he had the actor who played Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies. What the heck? He was great! And Star Bear was known for breathing through the mask. It is so sad he had to pass away. Rest in peace, Luke Skywalker's father.
and one more one more celebrity I want to talk about but but this doesn't really have anything to do with death and that is Tom Kane He, he has suffered a stroke. I'm not joking. Tom Kane has suffered a stroke. Oh no. That's definitely not good. Now, Highwood might never let him when voice over again due to this. Oh, and before I end this video, no, I forgot to mention in November. YouTube took down one of my videos for stupid and invalid reason. All it did was post one of my latest What Do You Think of This episode? Which was a Thomas and Friends episode from my childhood. Heard. Seriously, it didn't contain any copyrighted audio or anything up inappropriate YouTube don't worry it was only a warning but I was so scared that I deleted the video not only that when I was doing my Thanksgiving wife's dream with with mega with mega flare hair who is now Michael the movie guy? We are reacting to Black Panther vs. Sonic from Verbal Ace. When I record the whole video, it caused YouTube to take it down. Like, what the heck, YouTube? By, by recently learned from my sister Tara. That I'm, that I'm not supposed to record entire videos by famous YouTubers because they work hard, hard to earn money. That I, and I never want to do it, do it again. <sighs> and my strike still won't expire until February 22nd. Oh, and I want to talk about one more celebrity, Fred Willard, the voice of Pop Pop in the Wild House, and the Boogie Man in the Grand Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Red Willard passed away way way due to due to Carlick arrest. I'm not joking. Red Willie passed away 
back in May 2020 due to Catholic arrest. By the way, huh, I have nothing else to say about this year. It's still overall horrible, 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 just horrible. And this year gets, of course, a 0 out of 10. It's bullcrap. Let's just hope this year will be much better. I'm done ranting on this atrocious year. And in a few days, I'm going to re I'm going to review something positive. Hey. I'm going to tell you what it is. So come on in, we're gonna shake the house. We're having a ball at the house of mouse. That's why I'm going to review House of Mouse. On the 13th for its 20th anniversary. Like I said earlier in the video. By the way, this is me signing off and goodbye!